Hi, this is your host Sapni Bharatiya and welcome to the 2023 predictions series. And today we have with us Nick Durkin, field CTO at Harness. Nick, it's great to have you on the show. Swap, no, thank you so much for having us. Genuinely appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Before I ask you to pick your crystal ball and share your predictions, quickly tell our viewers what is Harness all about? Harness is uh, the modern software delivery platform designed around leveraging AI and ML to take away the worst part of your best engineer's jobs. So throughout the entire software delivery lifecycle, from code commit all the way through to production, right, Harness is here to make sure that it takes care of the worst parts of your job so you can do the best. Thanks for giving a very crisp uh, kind of, you know, intro to the company. Now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball and tell us what predictions you have for us. Sure, I think there's a few here. And my favorite is what I've seen across the industry is measuring developer effectiveness. It's been an interesting topic from the executives, but it's also one that I see actual engineer, engineering teams wanting more and more. If you do phenomenal work, you want to see it recognized. And today there's platforms for, um, you know, for sales, for the CIO, but not the CTO. And so what we're looking at is for the first time truly being able to effectively measure all of the software delivery um, challenges, but also all of the effectiveness from the moment a ticket is created all the way through to production. And so the intention here is now to be able to measure that and really give those top performing teams a way to perform and, and a way to show that their performance uh, is an outstanding performance. What we also see is the rise in platform engineering. For the longest time, we've seen software delivery um, and we've seen DevOps, DevSecOps, um, DevSecFitOps. I mean, the list gets longer and longer. And the reality is <clears throat> we haven't truly empowered our people. Uh, we've actually forced workloads on them. So instead of shifting the workload left, what I believe we're going to see is actually now shifting the information left by leveraging platforms. And so now people will start leveraging platforms to do all those automated tasks that genuinely a burden on our best engineers. We also see a continued increase in AI and ML to actually remove the worst part of people's jobs. No one wants to sit there and babysit deployments, wait for their tests to run, kick off you know, uh, non-production infrastructure by bringing it up and bringing it down when it's needed. Why don't we start using AI and ML to remove the worst part of your best engineer's jobs? Today, you'll see a lot of AI actually taking the best part of people's jobs. But I believe what you'll see implemented is AI and ML to remove the worst part of people's jobs. Thanks for sharing those predictions uh, with us. Um, tell us a bit about what is going to be the focus of the company in 2023, as you earlier said, to make developers' job easier. I think that's it. We're looking at every developer, we're looking at every engineer, and we're trying to make their lives easier using that AI, using that ML, um, but ultimately allowing uh, all of these teams to work together. No longer do I want to shift all the workload to the engineer, but I want to empower security teams to write the rules. I want to empower operations teams or infrastructure teams to define where things can land. I want to empower DevOps teams to write the pipelines, the templates that people can use to get to production. And then actually, as an engineer, I want them never to see a platform. That's my goal, harness or not, to never see the platform unless something goes wrong. If something goes wrong, then that platform should provide every piece of information that engineer needs to solve the problem. And that's the only time they should see it. And so the intention here, I believe, and what we're working on is making sure that we empower these teams to work together by removing that infighting. Of course, uh, we are going through this, you know, turbulent time. Uh, talk a bit about what are the challenges that you see will be there in 2023 and what role you see Harness can play to help customers navigate through some of those challenges. In these economic times, we see people starting to uh, look for efficiencies. And this is when people realize that they've asked their plumbers to do their electrical and their electricians do their plumbing. And you know, if you look at a bank, they would never go to one of their traders and, and ask them to go write a mortgage. And yet we've asked developers to write Terraform and to write pipelines and to, to go and diagnose. And, and what I find is that we've now found a phenomenal set of people and we want to empower them. And so what I actually see is, is a benefit for the industry where we get us back to focusing on what we're phenomenal at, but more importantly, not just phenomenal at, what we love doing, right? Um, Jyothi Bonsal, our CEO, put out a poll to see how much time people are actually spending developing. And it was 59% of, of, of engineers were spending less than three hours every day writing code. And what was even crazier, it was 80% total, it was less than, less than four hours. And, and to me, 
to take what people are phenomenal at, what they love doing, and to make them do all these other tasks just doesn't seem right. And so what I actually see is because of this uh, search for efficiency, I see people actually getting to do what they love doing and empowering them to do that. Nick, thank you so much for taking time out today and share these predictions. Uh, I didn't want to put any pressure on you, but next time we will do this next year as well and we'll hold the scorecard, what predictions we made, so we can check which one of those turn out to be true. Uh, but uh, jokes apart, thank you so much for your time today and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. Swap, so, no, thank you so much. Genuinely appreciate it and I can't wait. Let's uh, let's check in mid mid year and actually see how these are performing. And let's go against it and, and see what these look like across the time. Thank you again so much for the opportunity.